Hello and welcome to Pirivar Fishing Flies. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little trick about uh, making extended uh, mayfly bodies with the uh, Solaris moose mane and some dubbing. Uh, the thing I've done here is I placed a sewing needle in the sewing, sewing needle, I think that's uh, what it's called, in the vise. Uh, the vise I use here is a uh, vise with a spinning capacity, best in the world I think. Uh, okay, uh, then I use some moose mane. You see, I put in a stacker. It's not necessary, but uh, when you all get the same length, this is much more easier to use uh, three strands as a uh, body. Okay, the other thing I use is this um, Solaris Flex, UV Clear Flex. Okay. Uh, I start with uh, using this. This is a uh, ski wax. I just uh, place this on the needle just so the bodies don't stick so much. Okay. Don't use too much. Okay, then I just uh, pick out the three strands with the moose mane. Try to find some nice one. Okay. I got three there. Yes. Okay. Then I fin find my flex bottle and I place a little dab of a uh, UV cure on the bottom on the end here. Okay. Use my lamp. Try to collect this in a little bundle here and zap it. And hopefully it will stay there. Oh, a little just didn't hit that one. There it is. It's not necessary for it to sit so very tight now because what comes now it will explain everything. I use this uh, dubbing here. It's a bullfrog dubbing from. Uh, uh, vendor called fly ties dungeon dot com. Uh, this is a very long strand dubbing. Okay, so there is uh, of course a lot of other dubbings. The one thing I use now is I just spin my vise. I know vise uh, and make the body. Okay, just too much, not too much. Try to cover all of it. Okay. Have to turn some other strands. Okay. Just make a little more. You, you got it. The advantage with using dubbing for this is you can if you want, you can use different colors on your body, mayfly body. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some UV flex. You see, just soak it totally. You see, it's almost translucent now, but that will disappear when you sap it. Okay. You see now it's so already soaked. Soaked. Just have to dry my finger a little bit, and then I carefully squeeze on this and just pull out. You see, there you have it. And I roll my fingers on the end here and bend it a little. I have not sapped it yet, but what comes now? will sap it and this will spill with this shape will be permanently 
Okay. Uh, just remember that Solaris Flex needs some more curing than uh, other of their products because, well, it is what it is. Now you see, you have a mayfly body extended, uh, used for big mayflies, the green drakes, I think what it's called in America. You can squeeze it and it become almost... Uh, it's air filled, and you, you see the shape pops back, back uh, right back up again. Uh, this is what uh, I want to share with all of you guys out there. Uh, this is a very nice use from Solaris. Uh, I will uh, mention that earlier I used silicone for those for this uh, project, but then I had to wait for this. Uh, thing to dry but when you sap it and use so large flex you have it you have the body at once you see i just uh, been doing this for uh, i think a quarter maybe you see here okay just have to lift it up all those bodies i made it's a very fast way to make durable nice Floatable looking mayfly bodies. Thank you. Tight lines. Bye bye.